Hello, in this video we will be looking at a clean break order. A clean break order where the court approves an agreement between you and your former spouse about finances. The agreement means that you and your ex-partner's finances are completely separated forever and you can no longer make financial claims from the other person. It is open to couples who are past the decree NICI chapter of the divorce process. This type of financial settlement requires cooperation, so you are unlikely to be successful in obtaining a clean break if you and your former partner do not have a good relationship with each other. If you don't have one, your former partner could claim against you at some point. It is a good way to end the ordeal of divorce and get finality on what assets are yours. A clean break consent order can be of benefit because you prevent future claims. You can also both move on and so it may be easier to deal with the end of your relationship. Additionally, it can also prevent the expense of defending a future claim. You can apply for this when all the financial attachments you made during your marriage or civil partnership can be separated. This includes all your remaining financial responsibilities, your property, maintenance payments and pension payments. For example, if you had a short marriage, both parties are employed at the time of divorce and there are no children, it is likely you will be able to separate without ongoing obligations. The financial agreement will cover both of your incomes and all of your assets and debts. You have to agree how the assets will be shared between you and how much you are each entitled to. If you have been married a long time, the economically weaker party is likely to be entitled to claim more. It is more likely the court will make this order if your marriage was short and so it is easy for you to both be financially independent e.g. if you both have jobs and can split your capital fairly. You can still get a clean break if you have children, but it can create complications. If the other party objects to a financial settlement, you may have to get the court involved, and a judge will decide for you. You can ask the court to approve your version of the order, which is called an ancillary relief order. You should try to avoid a court order as far as possible as you will have to pay a court fee, and you will probably have to pay for a solicitor and a barrister. The purpose of a clean break settlement is that both parties are barred from making any more financial claims. However, in some circumstances the court can overturn the order, like if there has been fraud, or another intervening event. One example of this is where one party did not fulfill their obligations to disclose all of their property and assets. You can't fully achieve a clean break where you have children eligible for child maintenance. However you can get a clean break divorce settlement for all other types of financial claim between you and your former spouse. Additionally, family law requires child maintenance payments until the children are age 21 or finish being in full-time study. The divorce settlement agreement will include any agreement on a child maintenance schedule made by the parties. Otherwise, the child maintenance service will need to get involved. That is the end of this video, but if you would like to read more you can do so on the help and advice website.